Well, we got our second to last addition to the tank. We got our cleaner rests. As you can see it here, so beautiful with the dark and the blue, sort of electric blue stripes. Surprisingly, he got shipped to us, arrived today, and he's eating like crazy. So that's always a good thing when it gets shipped that way. But I guess he likes to hide. I don't see him anymore. Also, oops, now they're gone too. We had a couple of fire shrimp. There's the wrath again. <laughs> I will eventually do a follow-up video in case people haven't seen these, but what happens is the fish recognize who they are and then when they feel like they're itching they go to the wrasse and tilt to the side and the wrasse just picks at them and eats all the stuff or whatever on their surface of their skin picks them up and thus called the cleaner wrasse because it cleans the fish This one is almost full grown, so I don't expect it to grow too much more, but hopefully it'll still last a few more years. I'm gonna see if I can spot those shrimp. They usually hide under the rocks and stuff, so it's hard to see them most of the time. Yeah, I don't spot them. So that might have to wait for another video. Well, there's one, but I don't know if you can see it. No, it's hard to see him. He's down there in that little abyss. I can't see him from the top. The water is just too much. Yep, can't see him. I'll have to do a follow-up video on those two. You got two of them, so hopefully they'll fare out fairly well. And from last time, I learned my lesson. No more triggers with shrimp or the shrimp will disappear. And there's that wrasse again, going around like nothing. These were actually quarantined already from the distributor, so we just had to do a little bit of acclimation, temperature mostly. The salinity was pretty much on spot with what we had, so there was no worries there. And I wish those shrimps would come out. They're real pretty. Good size, too. Well, there's a little bit of the antennas. I don't know if you can see them. See that white strap of antenna back there? Oh, here it is. A little bit of the body. See them back there? That's the fire shrimp, if he ever comes out. They're a bright red coloration with white accents, in case you've never seen one before. But they're real pretty. Some people say that that flag fin is a little danger with invertebrates, but I've had them before and I've never seen them mess with the shrimp or Perhaps before so hopefully that's the case but I should be one more addition to this which will be the two fish that are in quarantine once we get them quarantined and unfortunately on those we did have to quarantine my powder blue ended up having some kind of a surface parasite most likely ick but doesn't show up too much right now because he's in copper so we'll keep an eye on him make sure that it's completely gone on him and then they will be added to here and then uh, just in case people are trying to make comments about the powder brown the powder blue is a little bit bigger than the powder brown so it'll be able to defend himself and the powder brown will be established but not several months it's only going to be about a month that he's been in there when the other one goes in so 
once they're both in there, they should battle it out for a couple of days, and then after that, hopefully, they will acclimate to each other. The ones that I had before never had issues once they did that, but we'll see. Crossing my fingers, the same thing. See, there's the shrimp. As you can see, the white accents on his body now. There's two of those in there somewhere. The other one, they were hanging together earlier, but I don't see the other one anymore. These are kind of like scavenger eaters. They'll eat all the leftover food on the ground or any other little critters they find on the floor. They'll eat them. But that's my current, or I should say our current tank. It's almost full, but not quite. Eventually, we're hoping to migrate them to a bigger tank. Even though this is kind of sort of pretty big, it's a 120. Except for the tanks, uh, especially the selfin and the powder blue, they're going to need a little bit bigger tank. Powder blue is going to be swimming back and forth, and they like to swim on the strong current, so we definitely going to have to need a longer tank at some point. They're going to be pretty small at this point, but eventually they will be needing one. There's that little shrimp back there again, just climbing along. There's a little fox face. They like to poke their little nose and mouth out the rocks just in case something is going on. They can see it and come back out. There's the fox face. Um, not sure why this particular one is very skittish. I've never had one that was that skittish before, but hopefully it'll outgrow it once it gets a little bit bigger and the tank's been running for a couple of years, so we'll see. There's that powder brown. There's that white lake clown. There's the oscillaris. We're still on debate on this guy whether he's a maroon or an ocellaris, but we'll have to figure out once he grows bigger. My guess is he's a maroon because of that thick body, but we'll see if he outgrows three inches, then we'll definitely know he's a maroon. But you'll see the distinctions that he gets older. But so far he's getting along with everyone, so that's the one that I was fearful if it was a maroon. They tend to be pretty aggressive, but they seem to be doing fine, so. The tank has been running now for maybe five months or so, so I don't foresee any issues with any bio load or anything. Their fish will be very well adapted to it, and the tank is running fairly good. My nitrates are kind of sort of low considering what I have. And so as you can see, this protein skimmer is definitely doing its job, so that will help keeping the nutrients down. But yep, there you go. The new addition to the tank, the cleaner ass. Yep, see him? He's eating, so it's always a good thing with a cleaner ass because sometimes they don't eat. They don't like to eat so much, but, well, at least not man-made foods, but that one's eating, so I like that. Well, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be posting up videos here and there and the progress and make sure that everyone's still alive. Hey, look, it popped out. That fish has been in this tank the longest. He was the second one in there. Fortunately, the first one died. I don't know why, but it was a green chromis. I had four and all of them died, so definitely not going to be doing those right now anymore, especially since uh, the tank is pretty much established by now. So, But all right. Hope you guys enjoyed.